Welcome to GDPG, everybody. I was Hola. Say welcome back. I do that a lot at the start of our episodes. You should probably not do that. <laughs> well, at the start of like our series, yeah, I should say. It's true. But today we are playing Bunker Punks. Bunker Punks. Uh, which I had the unfortunate accident of accidentally calling it Punker Bunks when I emailed the developer of this game. But... Bunker? I hardly know her. <laughs> uh, 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 but they so graciously uh, sent us a copy. This game is in early access, uh, early I access. believe, for like $5, maybe $10. I'm really bad at checking this chris for the people who don't know what is early access early well first of all this game is developed by ninja robot dinosaur ninja robot dinosaur aka shane neville so shane is the 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 developers so he's a cool guy i actually he was really friendly um early access just means that it is a game that is ready for sale you can buy it on steam and it's still being developed it's basically in beta absolutely you can even see it says early access version O dot one one three. So we're gonna play it. We, if you missed the stream, I don't know if we have it posted on our channel, and I don't know if we should post it because we'll it's it. a stream. It's kind of weird, right? But you guys um, should check out our stream. We're gonna try and make a more regular, regularly scheduled one. We're still kind of in the works on yeah. it, though. But so if you missed the stream, then you missed us unlocking this character, and we made a little bit of progress. But we're basically starting uh, this from a new campaign, right? So you're you're still gonna basically see all the same stuff. Yep, exactly, Mundo. So now the question is, who do I want? Oh, I see. I choose my two characters here. So I'm going to choose Cleopatra Rex and Dallas Beach. Dallas Beach is the shotgunner. He's awesome with shotguns. Oh, awesome. She's good at rifles. Oh, that means she's good at assault rifles, too. In the stream, I was really dopey. I was like, where's the rifles at? Thinking that it'd be like a rifle with a scope. Ah. Um, like a sniper all rifle. this time it was assault rifles. Wow, I'm not very smart. Well, anyway. that's true. <laughs> no arguments here. So, nice bunker. I, think I'll take it. <laughs> I like the voice acting nice line. Bunker. So, Bunker Punks is... Ooh, there's already enemies right here. Bunker Punks is basically a Twitch shooter. If you've never heard of that, a Twitch shooter is effectively a fast-paced first-person shooter that relies on good reaction time, or reaction speed. Obviously, I failed at the beginning of this. <laughs> but don't worry, I did better on the stream, so I'll do good yeah, on the show he's, he's too. Right? Up. He's just warming up. We, we took a good, like, uh, I don't know, two hour break two hour after break. our stream. Oh, absolutely. Uh, which actually, for once, or not really for once, but our stream was uh, pretty successful. I was actually really happy with it. We had some good activity going yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. It was a lot of fun. Um, for those of you who watched the stream, sorry about the lag of ourselves. <laughs> Um, yeah, our, we're, we're working on it. Our, we, it was the first time we used our camera for yes, uh, our new webcam Cam thing for, for streaming, and it overheated real bad. Which all of you guys that have watched the show know that's a regular problem of our DSLRs. Yeah, so. which happens. But hey, that makes us fun. If we ever like glisten on on the show, it's because I'm the, sweating. The recording the room is one. hot, is. and the cameras feel it too. And, like, I just have this natural body heat because I'm so sensually charged. Oh, I feel um, it, man. Yeah, feel yeah, it. yeah. Chris cannot... Stay he, away? Yeah, absolutely not. Ooh, like, there's no it. coolness when Chris Who is with me. Who could? I know, man. I am a sexy beast. Sexy oh, God. I didn't even notice him there. There's another one somewhere. Or someone's shooting at you from somewhere. Ah, you'll be fine. You okay, so I'm already wearing a hard hat. I don't have any demolitions. I also don't have any melee weapons, so changing this... Helmet right now doesn't really do anything. But I'm gonna do it anyway because it's a better color. Change it. Oh, really? It's a better color? Yeah, dude. Yellow is a lame color. Uh, you're a lame color. You're lame. Thanks. <laughs> so we we have a few different types of enemies early on. The guy I just killed, he is a self destruct bot. Basically, he sneaks up on you, and if you let him live long enough, he'll blow up and deal a lot of damage. Yeah, he will blow us um, up. I'm specifically avoiding the rocket launcher, by the way, because. It's not a good weapon to be your only weapon. <laughs> so now here's my question. Is a rocket launcher um, dangerous to you if you shoot it too close? I think so, yes. Okay. And it's interesting that there is a rocket launcher that even exists in this game because it's very CQC. It's very close quarters. Yeah, you're very close quarters. Um, and so, like, there are very much fewer chances for you to actually utilize something like a rocket launcher without actually damaging yourself. Yeah, I feel like you maybe in, like, a hallway shot or something would be all right. Ooh, pistol and shotgun Ooh, damage. I don't have cool. either of those, but I, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, you have an assault rifle. 
Yeah, assault rifles are actually pretty solid. The trade-off of an assault rifle is that you have poor accuracy. Um, mm, yeah. You, you do hold more ammo than a pistol can, so it, it works It does more well. damage, it looks like, at least. I think it does. <laughs> or at least it feels like it does. <clears throat> yeah. When in the stream, too, um, I tried doing pistol at one point because one of the characters... <laughs> so each each character has kind of a perk, right? Um, and it's generally like you get a damage bonus if this character uses a certain gun. Yeah. Um, and as far as this game goes, that's like the whole point of the characters you choose right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I chose the character that, did, that was the pistol slinger and she got bonus damage from pistols. But pistols were so underpowered that I was just getting Dude, it was a mess. But because where you were at in the game, it just was not good. Yeah, like pistols early on are, are pretty decent, and I wonder if the point of that pistol perk is for the beginning of the game. For early game, basically like. Well, since Molly Pop is like the first character you have, right? That in Dallas Beach, you get them both. Yeah, so it basically means that you have the one like all-around character that's pretty much good at like damage and range, um, but not exceptional at any of them. Um, and I guess, like, the benefit of Molly Pop is that she doesn't, like, run out of ammo, because you've, you're you not spraying the walls like you are with the assault rifle. Yes. Um, but the other thing is, you don't get the assault rifle or the rocket launcher right away. You, you find those weapons as you go on. Absolutely. So now, we are at the... This is our bunker, I guess. Um, basically... Very, very different from all other Twitch FPS games that That's I've seen cool. is that we can actually build our bunker. Um, it's it's build your bunker. not very robust yet, but we can do things like say, okay, I want a firing range. Let's build a firing range. Now, in the firing range, I can make room. So, say, maybe I want to get better with shotguns. So, I'll throw in this shotgun perk. And I can build another room and say, okay, let's make an infirmary. So, now... Even just having the infirmary means that I will uh, gain five health every time I change rooms. Just having the the armory means that I can now hold two guns. Which is awesome. Um, and, and then two weapons is always uh, important. Yep. And now I can make. Ooh, I've got another one. Oh, what's this? Punks, Punks heal when one? they do combo attacks versus increases the maximum health and then increases effectiveness of, of health, health pickups. Pickup. Yes. So. So this is, okay, so see how these are locked? Every time you die in this game, um, basically what happens is it, we the tech points that we've been acquiring. So you can see them up here, right? So we get credits. Credits are what we use to actually build the bunker. Tech is what we use after we've died to buy upgrades for the next run. Um, so that's that's what this is. This right here was an upgrade that we purchased during the stream. Oh, we did. Yeah, we, yeah, we purchased mm -hmm. after we had died. That's right. We should totally... I am absolutely going to pick that we up because it's that. cheap and it is necessary. Because oh, health packs, absolutely. the basic health packs in this game, you give you three health. On a scale of like your average health is about ninety to a hundred points. Yeah. Yeah, you need. I'm almost thinking we should do one where the punks have more health as well. If yeah, you want to spend that's that. not that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We still have eighty, so what I could do is not mm. do that. I don't want to do the. I think the other one we have is pistol upgrade, and I'm just going to avoid pistols. Yeah, we can. We, and we don't have a uh, molly pop anyways. So well, it's we. Like, oh yeah, that's right. We don't. Yeah, like the, but yeah, honestly, like, I I don't think that pistols are are utilized well right now. I like obviously since it's early access, this can, balance can change. Right, can change absolutely. Um, so what's the fun about playing early access games? Well, you get to see kind of like the early stages of the game, obviously, but mm -hmm. also like this is the chance to like reach out to the developer and say like, hey, this feels not good. Can you fix this? Or like, hey, there, I encountered this bug, like the game crashed and blew up horribly. Um, so that's like the best place to be able to work along adjacent to the developers, Absolutely. play the game as they're developing it, and then help them develop it effectively. And you support the development of the game because now the developer has money. Right, that's super important, <laughs> exactly. It's, um, I, it's I, I, super I like the important. idea of early access games, you know, because I feel like as a player in the indie game market, it's really awesome to get to try a game before it's technically fully finished. Now, there are a lot of games, though, that I think do that too soon or shouldn't do early access. I feel you, man. I absolutely um, do. And it, it's, it's an abuse thing. Whoop. Gotta get those creds. Get the creds. Um, I can't Whoa. think of any good examples at the moment, but, like, 
It is it is a system that I think a lot of developers abuse because they they either never plan on actually finishing their game and they just right. want to like rack in on on money while they have people thinking that you know it's early access there's, and there's that it's going to be get more. better. Yeah, which is sad. Um, or it's just like a game that doesn't make sense in early access, like a story based game that doesn't have a complete story. Right. It's like wait, why am I playing this? My yeah. Is like how much is going to help you? Or, 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 like, one-time play games are another good example where it's like you actually would only play the game once, right? Right. Um, suddenly, if that game is in early access and say uh, you have most of your audience buy the game, by the time the final release comes out, they're not going to go back and play it because they've already gotten the full experience. They don't want to do it again. Absolutely. Um, so it's, it's, it's not for all games, and it shouldn't be treated like it's for all games. All right. Um, but I think it's a really, really useful... No, I, I agree totally, man. I agree totally. All things considered, though, I do really like early access. Well, you know, I, I think for a game like this, it makes sense. I think those games are, are some of the most fun to record on the show, too. Like, yes! It's, it's like the Curious Expedition, right? Like, every time that we record that, we encounter totally new things because yeah. a couple of iterations Absolutely. have gone on since then. Well, with that being said, uh, wait, what's your question of the day, B? Uh, that's the end of the episode? Yeah, about there. Uh, question of the day. I guess we could talk about early access. What do you think makes for a good early access game? Um, that's fair. And, and maybe what do you think makes for a not good early access yeah. game? Because I'm curious to hear what you guys think and if you have any actual like experiences with games on that market that shouldn't be there. Awesome. I think that's great. So, guys, comment below and please also vote. Let us know what games you want to see us play or keep playing. Yeah, and definitely vote if you want to see more Bunker Punks. I'm going to I'm gonna mix it up at yeah. some point and say Punker Bunks again. Um, but we will keep playing this as it continues to be developed if you guys want to see it. And if not, then no worries. We'll yeah, just keep no, moving on no to bigger no and better problems. things. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we will see you in the next episode. See you guys later. Oops. <laughs> Talk to you later.